I'm Bridget Bowser. I'm the senior financial coach in the IRC of Atlanta office. I've been with IRC uh, next month makes five feet five years. And I used to be the only financial coach for many years <laughs> in the IRC office. But in the last year, they've hired two other coaches and it's very exciting for me. And um, I'm really happy to see, you know, the growth in the office and just having help. <laughs> Um, I also, I am a, I'm an immigrant, not a refugee, but I'm an immigrant myself. I'm from Jamaica, but I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. All right. For many years, I did first time home buyer counseling. I first started off doing that in New York for neighborhood housing services. First time home buyer and counseling is very, very similar to what I do now. We, it's just a different outcome. Financial coaching, getting a person ready for home purchase, credit, budget, all of those things we had to do to get that person ready. And I'm pretty much doing the same things, just, Helping a refugee become, understand life in America, the financial system in America, how to survive here in America. Um, so, yeah, it's just a different outcome, but it's the same, same type of work. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Pay your bills on time. And you don't have to worry about your credit score. You don't have to worry about your credit. If you have good habits of paying your bills and managing your money, everything will fall into place. Well, a part of the process with IRC is that we do a budget, a family budget with them. Um, I do a lot of loans uh, in our office, whether it be business loans, auto loans, credit building. Um, the main part of it is two things, pull credit and do a budget with them. So those conversations lead to so many other things when you're going over the budget with them and then most people are very nervous about seeing their credit report. Uh, they think it's bad. And then sometimes they're pleasantly surprised that it's not as bad as they thought. So, um, yeah, the it's mostly using that family budget, talking to them about credit, and everything else kind of opens up. because we see people from all over the world. And unfortunately, I'm not bilingual, trilingual, or any of those other linguals. <laughs> I'm just English. So that's the most challenging part for me is making sure I can get interpretation. And, you know, IRC, uh, we have a good group of, you know, a wide variety, I should say, of um, interpreters, different languages, but it's not always easy or convenient to, to get one. So that's the biggest challenge. And I think that's a challenge for most IRC staff that don't speak the language of that person you're talking to. I'm a people person, really. And um, I find that people are pretty comfortable with me. After we talk a little while, they'll start telling me everything. <laughs> so um, building relationships is just, it's the easy part of my job. Well, one is a young man from Uganda 
who kind of adopted me as his mother, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, his He was in a camp, I think in Kenya for several years. And he was like the older guy in the camp. So he kind of looked out for the younger guys. And when they all got, um, you know, author, their opportunity to come to America, most of them went to California and somehow he wound up in Atlanta alone. And um, I, of course, worked with him at, with credit and budgeting and I helped him with an IRC loan and he got a car and he drove that car cross country to California <laughs> to be with his friends because he was sad and lonely here. And he's doing so well. He's got a good job. He's He bought another car, so now he's got two cars. <laughs> got a girlfriend, got an apartment. He's just, it's awesome. The funny part of that story is that as he drove cross country, he would call me, you know, as he's, I'm like, and I would tell him stuff like, when you go to the, the trucker station, you sleep where the truckers are. You stay around them. Don't don't be all off by yourself. And <laughs> he was driving and he got to a state that it was snowing. He's African. He's never seen snow. He called me. He was so excited. He was like, oh, my God. He was like, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it was so funny to, to hear the excitement and see, because he was FaceTiming me, you know, and he's like, look, look. <laughs> I did a client come that I met him when I first started and the whole family, the three of them came today. Um, I met them in like 2018, 2019. And they were so excited to have someone there from years ago, you know, that knew them. And they moved to Oklahoma. And uh, they they opened a cell phone store out in Oklahoma. And they're doing really, really well. So it was exciting. And I was happy to see them. I don't know. Like, I don't really have a specific piece of advice for them besides being patient and being kind. We have such a strong impact on these people and their families, and they've been through so much already. They don't need to come sit down with a, a grumpy, grouchy person that's not nice to them. <laughs> they don't need that at all. Yeah.